Hello and welcome to another Wednesday live stream with me, Ted, from Ted's Cornish Watch Reviews. That's on here on Instagram and, of course, on YouTube. Don't forget, you've still got one more day to get your entries in to the giveaway of that very nice little watch. So you'll have to look at my YouTube to find out more details about that. It's going quite well, I've got to be honest. There's quite a few people that are in. Oh yeah, you all right, mate? How you doing there? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for uh, my special guest from uh, Swan and Edgar. Hello, Leon, right, mate? Good to see you there. I was just explaining that there's still one day left to get in to the giveaway for that very nice little watch that's on my um, YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to there, pop on over. There's a tab on my bio that just says all my links. Click that and there's the information there to take you to my YouTube. I'm just, as I say, waiting for uh, Swan and Edgar. I'm not going to say that it's a lady, but I'm not going to say the lady's name just yet. I'm going to keep you in uh, in suspenders and uh, until she actually turns up. Um, I think that's Chris Whiteley has gone. OK, no worries. Or he's come back again. Hello. Welcome back. So I've got a couple in at the moment. I always start a little bit early uh, just to make sure that everything's working. I've had a bit of trouble trying to get my phone to actually log into Instagram. Uh, whether it's my end or their end, I've no idea. Works fine on my tablet, just my phone. It was not looking very good. So I nearly had to do this whole hour stream holding a tablet up uh, because my gimbal won't hold a tablet far too big. So as I say, I'm just waiting for um, Swan and Edgar to, to come in. Tonight's drink, no alcohol. No, 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 not tonight. We've got a nice cup of coffee in a Holland mug. Yeah, well, no comments. Especially you, Leon, about Holland. None at all, mate. No, so as you can see, it's all wholesome. We've got windmills and... I was going to say tulips, but no, just windmills. So that's what's on there at the minute. Oh, very nice. I had some nice little single malt I was going to break out uh, for tonight's stream. Uh, but I thought, no, no, I won't. Uh, two reasons. One, I like it too much. And two, there's no ice. So <laughs> if it's not on the rocks, I ain't going to waste. Um, yeah, a shot of whiskey, mate. Yeah, it was going to be. I've got some lovely single malt. That uh, Hey, there's trouble, look. Hi, Tony. Trouble's joined in. Oh, my God, this is it. Stream's going to go downhill from now. <laughs> uh, before you ask Tony, no, I've not got the TSO on uh, because I've got uh, a representative from uh, Swan and Edgar coming on. A nice lady. I'm hoping that she's remembered. I've been uh, giving her like subtle like, hello, don't forget tonight, you know, for uh, quite a bit of the day. So she's not online at the moment. So hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I messaged her about uh, two minutes before I've actually gone live. And again, that's another reason why I start the stream. You know, anytime between two to five minutes early, just to make sure that everything's working all right. I'll do a quick wrist watch check. Hello, Brisbane watches. Nice to see you in there. Lovely. Thank you for your support. You're always around. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got the, uh, the Swan and Edgar Sovereign on tonight. One of my favourite watches, I, uh, I've really, it's a woman's prerogative, Leon, isn't it, Relax Watches? It's a woman's prerogative to be uh, fashionably late, I think that's what they call it, don't they? But uh, no, no panic at the moment. I mean, it's very good of her to uh, to give up her time. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure she doesn't normally work this late. You know, it's 10 o'clock on a Wednesday. So, you know, I'm lucky to get her in at all, really. Um, I'm thinking about changing the stream times. Instead of doing them 10 o'clock on a Wednesday, I'm thinking about doing it at, at 9 o'clock on a Wednesday night. Yay! Swan and Edgar, yeah! Right, let's see if we can invite you now. Now, I've never personally seen this lady, so she's seen me a few times, so this is going to be a surprise. I've sent the invitation to you. I've not said your name yet. I'm waiting for you to... Hello! Hello, Ted. How are you? 
I'm very well, thank you, Melanie. Thank you ever so much for giving up your time and coming and doing this for me. I do really appreciate it. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. It's lovely to uh, connect and uh, it's been great working with you. So it's fantastic to be able to, uh, yeah, to chat more for sure. Yeah, it is. I mean, we had a little chat on the phone there once before and that was very nice. It was nice to let you have that initial chat to um, say hello and just, you know, talk watches. It was really interesting. Mm -mm. But now I've, I've got a face to the day. It's lovely. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Um, I'll have to say, full disclosure right now, I'm actually a brand ambassador for Swanamaker. This, this, if you like, interview, chat, whatever you'd like to call it, isn't sponsored. It's not paid or anything like that. It's just a way of getting to know the brand a bit better. I mean, I don't hide the fact that I'm a big fan of Swanamaker watches. I think the first time I spoke to you, like, you know, it was... I really like your brand. Can I come in? Can I join in? And, uh, yeah. you know, it was a, a bit a bit hard going, but I appreciate, you know, finally getting the opportunity to do it. Well, we've got to do a wristwatch check, haven't we, Melanie? We have to do that. Absolutely. Come on, let's see, Ted. What have you got on? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's the Swan Ex Swan and Exeter. Swan and Exeter. <laughs> I'm very impressed. A sovereign. It looks yeah, wonderful. Have you found it? Absolutely love it. I really do. It's without a word of a lie, it is in one of my top five watches. I wear it actually, to be really honest with you, I wear it more than my Rado. Uh, I mean, so hi AJ. So I mean that actually says something. You know, watch that's cost like three or four times the price. Mm -hmm. Actually more than that, isn't it? A lot more than that, thinking about it. Yeah. And I wear I wear that one, you know, a lot more. It's one of the ones that I'd grab. I think my yeah. So it hasn't uh, since I've had it, it's never ran down. It's always been running. So <laughs> that says, you know, how much I like the watch. It's that's excellent. It's, and no, even you being a, an ambassador, it's it's brilliant, you know, the passion that you have for the watches and um, all the different videos you do are absolutely brilliant and you know, Swan oh, and Echo you. itself, it comes from so much heritage in terms of, you know, having the shop in Piccadilly, then the Fields family taking it over as the brand and, you know, really just always focusing on new collections, new watches, new designs. We've even got women's watches now. I don't know if you've seen them, but... Is that a little thing that... Good is that know. your polite way of saying, Ted, you have a woman's wrist? I know I've got a six-inch wrist, no, I know. I mean, if you've got any uh, ladies that love women's watches, they'd be perfect. <laughs> I, I, was, I was teasing there. You, you know what I'm like by now. I mean, we spoke a few times, you know, on Messenger or so on, and you, you know what I'm like by now. Yeah. You know, you give me just a, a little feed line, and whoop, I'm away with it. So, <laughs> yeah. so, mm -mm. Um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Swan and Edgar for those people that are, are unaware of the brand or are new to the brand. Yeah, of course. So Swan and Edgar has got so much heritage. So around, um, you know, for around 150 years, we had the shop in Piccadilly, um, which was amazing. It was really, really popular. And then what happened is when the shop was closed down, the Fields family, um, James Fields, who's the owner at the moment, he right. bought over that brand. Um, and now the Fields family have had years and, you know, decades of experience with fantastic watches, you know, really making sure the design, um, which is designed in the UK, everything's on point. They're really passionate about the quality of the watches and um, the movements um so that together has really formed swan and edgar what it is now so i like to think you know with the heritage the story the background of the company and then also with you know our kind of innovative approach it's worked really well together and um yeah i think with the watches being quite affordable as well it's just nice because you can have something that looks you know very expensive oh it um, does but, yeah you know for a reasonable amount which i think is a perfect match to be honest and uh you know, it's good. It's good. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, speaking as a Cornishman's point of view, you know, I'm not going to say tight, but I'm going to say um, frugal, shall we say. <laughs> I mean, the watch looks, you know, like you paid five, six, seven hundred pounds for it. And, you know, for the price point, it's just exceptional. It really is. I mean, I personally first came across the brand. and I'm going to give them a plug from Ideal World. That's where I first came across the brand. And I was thinking, this is, they are really, really, really nice. I mean, I, I know Mike Mason reasonably well, one of the presenters there. Like, you know, he's a lovely guy. He's just as mad as I am. And, you know, he sent me a message and said, like, Ted, look out, mate. Swan and Edgar are coming. I was like, who? 
And I did go on Google. I thought, oh, 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 I like this. You know, that's that's where it started for me. And that's got to be like, I suppose, three, maybe four years ago. So, I mean, I've been with part of the journey for about three or four years. And, you know, to be like, you know, an, an ambassador to the brand is just fantastic for me. It really is. And a quick plug as well. Anything on the Swan and Edgar discount, anything on the Swan and Edgar website, use my discount code, TED30. That's TED30. Yeah. 30% of everything on their watches. Can't be better than that. And again, not a paid for comment. I get nothing from that, but it's a help to anyone out there who wants to watch, which is just the way I like doing it. You know, to me, that's a lovely way of doing it. Yeah, that's really nice of you to say, Ted. And like I say, it's it's good that, you know, we're always trying to bring out new things so no one gets bored. And um, we've got so many different things. And uh, my granddad was actually from St. Ives, so I love Cornwall. It's what's beautiful it? there. It's really nice where you are. Oh. And he, he's... What? Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, on stream, I tone my accent down and the way I talk down, uh, yeah. because if I was to rabble like an audio, like, you never understand what I'm saying. You know, like that, I, I have to tone it down and, uh, you know, try and control the accent. I mean, when we spoke on the phone before, I'm, I'm sure there's time you was like, what? What did he say? Hey, what? You know? <laughs> but now, we've had a question come in. Yeah. Would it be possible to make smaller diameter watches? Now, we've had been asked about that, but if you have a look on our website, there are a lot of different sized faces. So all you have to do is you've got the stats and everything you need there. So just have a good look around our site and some are significantly smaller than the standard ones. Um, but yeah, do have a look. Um, I mean, our two most popular, we've got the Complexity Automatic and, the, um, and we've also got World Timer, which are, you know, people absolutely adore. But, you know, that's why we do try and show a lot of the watches on um, on wrists on our profile okay. just so you can kind of get the measurements and see how they will be but yeah just just have a look through the website and there'll definitely be something that's suitable for everyone for sure okay well as you know i'm i'm honest and unbiased even though i'm a brand ambassador we've had uh, one comment come in from a gentleman i think called ben uh, sadly he had to send back two world timers as the hour and kept slipping mm -hmm. disappointing as looks good but movement really poor quality yeah. so you know in the interest of like keeping it you know fair and impartial they can no, the questions come in i read them out you know yeah no thank you um, for bringing that up and that's it i just to say that and that's part of um you know with me joining the brand and obviously with the marketing and sales side um you know we always have the odd thing that happens with parcels and things but um with the movement side that's something that we think is really important so like you say absolutely any issues at all anyone feel free to reach out to me directly vice one and edgar and we'll just do our best to find you a replacement and sort that asap <laughs> well again Honest as I am, I had a problem with a watch that I didn't buy directly from Swanenegger. I bought it from Ideal World, and I had a problem with it. Um, no problem at all, Swanenegger. The only thing that I have, which I would try and avoid people to go direct to yourself than than buying them from, like, you know, a shopping channel, was the returns process was a real pain in the backside. It, it was uncomfortable. Mm. Um, so I would say... Use my disco code, 1030. <laughs> Save yourself yeah. some money and buy direct. <laughs> oh, that's good. And yeah, for our customers, we want to make sure we're there and supportive and make sure that, you know, we, we do have, um, it's been so incredibly busy, even throughout COVID, you know, just for people. Yeah. It's, it's strange because we thought, obviously, with COVID and uh, people staying in, but I think they're such nice gifts to have. And, you know, because they're so, you can, you've got ones that are extreme and like great for going out, but then you've got ones that are more day to day. So there's, it's really quite flexible. Right. Uh, another question's come in. Um, who's this from? A gentleman called Ian. I wish the complexity came with a non-skeleton back. I want to wear a mon one on my wedding day, but get the back engraved. Good point. Yeah. So that's a good point. So we are actually looking to um, get involved uh, with someone who can engrave watches for us. Um, so as soon right. as that service is out, because we've had so many requests for that, and we really want to make sure that we're listening to everyone. Uh, so so sooner that's available, then I will be shouting about it on the Instagram. Um, and okay. we, we are working you know, on that for you as soon as possible. That's lovely. So it's nice to get a bit of feedback coming in straight away. We've only been on for about 10 minutes. And it's coming in that's brilliant oh and i mean it's all good really sorry just to add to that on the wedding whoever said that <laughs> oh yeah i forgot about that i was too busy trying to read the... <laughs> i forgot yeah congratulations on your wedding now then that leads me nicely on to the uh the duck and the dog this i know it's not a duck it's a swan <laughs> to the swan and the uh the egg dog um where did that come from please the duck <laughs> 
So it's actually with the Swan and Edgar brand is associated with everything that happened within World War Two, And it really goes back to that Piccadilly store, to be honest. And, um, you know, with the name, it's just something that was, um, it, it seemed to be a good brand name in terms of it wasn't to do with the owners. Um, but anyway, yep. like I say, at the moment, it's good to partner that kind of store and that um, it's, it's more the status and where that store was located with the experience yep. team that we've got today. So, um, yes. So that's all I can say on that one, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair enough. No, I mean, I, I like the design. I like it. I like the way it's done. It's, you know, it's, what do you call it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, what was that? It's, it's done, you know, incredibly well. Executed really well. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, I mean, the actual font you've used and the depth of the engraving is just lovely. It's really nice. And again, like, you know, the laser etching you do, it's, it's lovely. The quality, I think, is just really, really good on it. And that's just not me, like, you know, you know, being like, you know, oh, they're wonderful. Everything's wonderful. You know, that's just me being honest. I mean, you know, you know, with the chats we've had, you know, I keep it real. And like, you know, if I've got someone to say, I come out and say it. You know, that's where everyone knows where they are. Here we go. One from Daniel. Received my watch about two months ago, the one with the moon, sun and earth. Uh, that would be the world timer uh, with the astronaut on the back. Case in. Oh, dear. Off it. Black and hang on. Let's read that again. Received my watch about two months ago, the one with the moon, sun and earth, and the astronaut on the back casing of it. Yeah, that's it. It is absolutely amazing. Everyone comments on it every time I wear it out. That's lovely. That's nice to hear. Thank you very much lovely for that. Appreciate hear. that. Thank you. That's great. Oh, I just want to, if you don't mind, Ted, I'm just going to give a shout out to Famous Ali. He's, um, you know, done some amazing shots for us in the, ba in the past. He's absolutely incredible um, with some of the content he's done for us. So uh, thanks, Ali. Famous Ali. Great job. <laughs> okay. Nice one, Famous Ali. Thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate that. So, I mean... What would you say is the number one bestseller out of all the watches you do? Now, that's I know it's a difficult one to, for you to say, yes, it's this one or it's that one, you know, but it'd be nice to have some sort of idea. So I really say it varies between the Complexity Automatic and the World Timer. They really are. So, I mean, the Complexity Automatic, we've had such high demand because I just think it's so classic in the way it looks and it's so it easy does. to wear. You know, it's not something that you have to... Um, you know think about you know the design or an event it's just a watch that's so incredibly easy and timeless um, but then the world timer I feel like if you're a little bit more I don't know it's it's uh, kind of more of a, a trendy it's just a different design on its own I think the the um, when we look at the complexity it's a lot more classic so it just depends oh. and I think those two watches uh, they have a balance between both of them but you know honestly I can't keep up there's so many fantastic designs that are coming onto our site every five minutes um, and we do have one that's quite pl uh, pricey which is our most expensive one which is a Turbilon um, yes. I, I mean sorry Ted I can't send you one of those I wish I could I know, um, I know. I know. But, you know they are people do love those ones and my personal favorite is the one with the um with the kind of the, the bright blue face I just, oh my gosh it's just yeah. so uh yeah I love it, it takes my breath away yeah. <laughs> guilty just to bring everyone up to speed when I first got the brand ambassadorship with your good selves I thought well I'm gonna go in hard and see what I can get like you know I might only get one chance with these guys so let's go for it and I actually requested that uh what was it again the, the tubador wasn't it yeah turbulon yeah mm -mm. <laughs> Turbulon, thank you for yeah, the Turbulon. And your reply on that was just, it made me laugh. It really did. It was like, basically, you're a cheeky bugger. No, you know, I know I didn't you didn't say, say that, that, but that's what it came. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know you didn't say that, but that's what reading between the lies. And I, I laughed at that. I thought, bless her heart. You know, I, mean, I, I, I thought I... If I could get I a just pound thought every time someone's asked me for one of those watches, I'd really be a millionaire. It's pretty impressive. I mean, you know, they really, uh, but no. don't worry. It's everyone. It's not just you. <laughs> Melanie, I'll give you a pound right now for it. There's, there's your start. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a hard trade. <laughs> you know, so have you got any other plans to, to have another shop other than in Piccadilly or is that just where the nucleus of it all is? Um, at the moment, I mean, we've got so many different businesses we work in partnership with, but our online store really is the kind of the heart of everything. You know, we're really focused on constantly updating things, um, you know, showcasing it on our Instagram. Um, so I think at the moment, you know, digital is going really well for us. But like you say, I mean, it's so important when people can try things on. Um, but, you know, there are different ways you can do that. Um, and I will be sharing a bit more in focus at the moment. We're just ironing a few things out. But yeah, um, okay. at the moment, mainly online. 
Ideal. Are your watches designed by your own in-house team or do you send them out and get the design sent to you and say, this is a possible, and then, you know, your team says, well, we can do that, we can't do that, and so on? Yeah, so we have in-house um, in-house UK designers that, um, you know, our founder works with very closely uh, just to make sure that right. the attention to detail and um, how it's on brand is there. So, you know, like I say, in terms of the movement and, you know, looking into the future as well, because we don't just want watches that are great for now. It's, you know, when you've got a Swan and Edgar, we want you to enjoy it for a long time. And that's why we've got the five-year exactly. warranty. So um, that's also really important to us. And that five-year warranty is included on all your watches free of charge, isn't it? It is, yes. Yes. There you are. See the way I led into that look? Hey. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. Hey. <laughs> so with, with your watches, I mean, do you design, like, you know, what straps come with them if they're an, inte you know, an integral strap or is that all done by someone else? Is that all in-house as well? Yeah, so the design for the straps, that's all in-house. And we have actually had a lot of requests now for interchangeable straps. So making sure that we've got different right. options. We have listened to that. We are obviously thinking about it because every time someone drops us a message or says something, you know, we take it seriously if, if that's what you guys want, you know, because at the end of the day, yeah. uh, you're our customers. So um, I think that will be possibly coming in the future. Um, but, you know, with the whole... Um, yeah, at the moment with uh, with mainly just being able to the personalised side of engraving, it's all right. things that we're we're really looking into. Ideal. I've got to say on a personal note now, your integrated bracelets that you do on these sovereigns are beautiful. I mean, I always do this when I get a watch, feel around the edges to see if it's sharp, and this is honestly like butter. It's so nice. It's so comfortable to wear. You know. So I mean. The, des the design on this strap, I'll call it the H-Link, is just beautiful. It really is. You've done such a nice job with it. Whoever done that, you know, give them like an extra cup of tea. They've done a beautiful job on it. It's really, really nice. That's something like, I'm, I'm a bit finicky when it comes to watches. You know, I either really like them or it's like, could do better. You know, and that's the thing. And the one, this one here in particular... I mean, I keep feeling it. It's like my fidget spinner when I'm wearing it. You know, I just rub my finger like that all the time. It's, it is a really, really smooth job. You get some of them and bracelets are like an afterthought. They'll put any old cheap stuff on there to keep the accountant happy. And then that ruins the overall like effect of the watch and the wave factor of the watch. You've got a beautiful dial, beautiful case, and you've got a Poundland strap on it. I know you can change the straps, but integrated ones, they've got to be spot on you know you're stuck with it so you i mean i will say well done really good job on that thanks ted and yeah i agree i think that you know a lot of people just focus on the main point of the watch and the face but it's the whole mm. thing together it's you know it's not just about how it looks it's about how it feels how you know how comfortable you are with it so all those things really do matter um so i'm glad you like it suits you a lot <laughs> Thank you. Well, I mean, you've seen a lot of pictures of it and the um, the complexity. Um, I've got to I've got to wear that one a little bit more. But as I say, this one here, it it hasn't you know needed really winding. Neat. I put it away like you know, and then I drag it out again like you know the following day. I'm going to wear this again, and I do. Like, you know, yeah. uh, the complexity. I'll wind it up you know probably once or twice a week. Set the time. I think I'm going to wear that. I'm going to wear that, and then I just reach for this one. Again. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, and it's a big watch, but yeah. you know, even with my little little lady's wrist you know it fits lovely it really does so that was a real real good design winner that one is so one thing i've got to ask as well on your website you've got a section called smart watches but you don't sell smart watches do you now can you explain why there are you're smiling why it's under smart watches when they're not smart watches please Okay, so that's a really good question. I think with the terms of smart, it's more kind of like when we're looking at the level of detail that we go into. So we kind of have our own definition. Um, so I, I agree with you there, just in the way kind of like they move and how they operate. But what I will be doing actually over the next couple of days, what I've got is I've got some feature reels on um, our Instagram in terms of, you know, some of the definitions, smart watches, what we mean by that, and even the women's watches no. as well. Because I just saw a question and what watch have I got on? But I'm not home right now, so I can't even show you my wrist and a women's watch so what i'll do is i'll put you my top five favorite ones on there um so please do keep a look out and uh yeah good question we're not really selling uh apple watches anytime soon but yeah we've got our own definition for that one <laughs> yeah. um i've got a question here from ian love the exposed balance wheel on a lot of the watches 
gives you a turbolon appearance, but at a massive snip at five years warranty. Unbelievable. Very nice. So, I mean, there's a lot of positive feedback in the watch community so far that's coming in that, you know, the watches are actually it in the spot. And if you want to say the watch family as a whole, it's like embracing the company. And that, that must be really nice because are you that new on the internet? I mean, was it just like things like Ideal World before the actual web page went or how did it go about, please? I think for us, we've had a lot of presence online, but certainly for the Instagram, it's really been the past, you know, just over a year. And for us, obviously right. followers are always really important for brands, you know, it's how you see credible, but the most important thing is really building a relationship and having that sense of community. Right. Um, so, you know, a lot of brands, they have, you know, loads of followers, but maybe they don't get back to you or you don't really understand what they're about. So, um, and this is why it's so nice to hear everyone this evening um, on your, obviously on your live, Ted. Um, so I think that's just something that we have been working on, but it's, yeah, I think definitely the way we're building things is just more authentic, if that makes sense. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't mean this in a derogatory term at all, but being like a micro brand, it's nice that you engage with the customers. And like, I mean, I, well, I know I was messaging you for probably about two or three months before actually I got the ambassadorship. And we was just talking like old friends and it was so nice. It really was. I mean, two strangers just with a mutual love of watches. It was, I commend you on that. It was really nice. Cause I was saying the lady I talked to at Swan is lovely. She's really nice. You can have a good laugh with her and she's good as gold. Like, you know, and I've said it before, that is half the battle with anything you sell. It's like the way the company is presented, you know, and the actual friendliness of the person you're dealing with. There's like Leon just said, relax watches. Customer service goes a long way. Absolutely right. I mean, we've all got horror stories where you bought something and it's like, well, tough luck, you bought it, deal with it. Or we'll send you here. And like, it costs you like about uh, three quarters of the price of the product to send back to get a replacement. So you're given a five year warranty as well for free. It's just mind blowing, really. Yeah, like you say, I think it's just, you know, at the end of the day, you can, you know, it's, selling's half the game, but then the other side is really making sure everyone's happy and that you're, you know, backing your own products. Because if you can't do that, then okay. no one can. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, as I said before, every time I've messaged you, you've, been, you've replied to me nine times out of 10 within the hour. I mean, with the amount of followers you've got and the amount of workload, I'm guessing that you'd have, especially with the COVID, like, you know, selling things like online all the time. Yeah fantastic i mean it really is you know it's absolutely fantastic what you do with that um what is your like official if you if you will job title with swan and edgar uh, just marketing manager and then i help out with sales as well but we're really close it's it's nice because the team is so close in terms of you know their roles but the amount that we that we talk and uh you know in terms of the future of the company i mean there's lots of exciting things in the works at the moment um in terms of like um you know collaborations with different businesses new watches um so i right. think it's just although you know some businesses you have your own roles but then others it's like everyone works on one and you've got a really kind of strong culture so i think it's um yeah i think that's down to the owner james he's done a really good job there <laughs> some has just said good reference as a micro band but not to mention another brand um oh can i say that yeah i can but aventi started off as a micro and now look at them sort and go will get to lofty heights i'm sure oh i don't doubt it i mean i personally myself dislike the term micro brand i don't i know it's you know like if you will the industry standard if you're not yeah. you know i guess other brand names you know but what else can you describe yourself as i mean as i say i hate that term micro brand you know to me it's like belittling of anyone's achievement but you know it's like oh well, you're micro brand you know to me that's you know if there was another way of putting it i think you know that might be an idea for you to think of another way of saying we're not a micro brand. We're a whatever, you know, I can't think of it. I'm with you, Ted. I think, you know, the term isn't great, but then I think, you know, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, a lot of companies, um, you know, we've done a lot of um, research really with um, with the people like filling in questionnaires and obviously with the designs we're always looking into. So if it's like, if you're a micro brand and you're making sure you're on the right track, it's great because, you know, if things get bigger, then, you know, at least, you know, you're off to a good start rather than expanding quick. Uh, and then, you know, things can go wrong pretty quickly. So, you know, hopefully well, it'll be a fast transition. <laughs> hopefully. Well, I mean, from what I've seen and what I've had dealings with yourself and the company, I can't fault it. I really can. 
you know, normally there's like, whatever you do, there's always like one little thing you think, oh, I wish they'd done that. Or why did they do that? But nothing, I've had nothing. And uh, you can tell like, you know, by my YouTube and my Instagram posts and so on, I've got nothing but praise to say about your watch. Now, for me, as I've said before, being a fussy old git, you know, it's, it's difficult to impress me. You know, I'm coming up 51 years old. I know I only look about 30, but you know, that's that the young? thing. Oh, well, thank you very much. Just, just, just ignore these, you know, that's, um, laughter lines that have like collapsed on in themselves, you know, <laughs> but you know, so it's always nice to do that. I mean, I think since I've been doing this, this watch game, uh, well on Instagram, I've been doing watches for years, but actually on Instagram, the amount of people that will say, yes, we can do this for you. Yes, we can send you that. Give us your email, give us your address and you do that and nothing you don't hear from them again or the other side of the coin is you get companies that are pretending to be another company and you've got to be ever so careful it's i mean it is a bit of a minefield really it is i'm you know i've had i've had like four or five different things like that have gone to the stage of like yeah i'll, I'll accept it you know because you know how i work unbiased you know i say exactly what i like with it i think that's the only way you can do it and I, I never get paid for it. I never use affiliate links because to me, that's another way of like, I've got to really push. I've got to really push because I've got to make, you know, a target, you know, so that's, that's not the way I do it. I think it, it clouds your judgment. So I just do it, um, you know, just really to give people an informed decision. Um, but great. again, I've, I've turned, I've turned down more brand apprentice, brand apprenticeships, brand um, ambassadorships than what I've accepted because the control isn't in my hands. It's not like I'm a control freak, but it's like, if someone's telling me, you've got to say this, you've got to say that, we've got to see the review before you do this. It's like, no, you just will give me 500 quid, you know, and then tell me what to say. And I'll stand here like, this is brilliant. This does that. And this does that. I'll read your script, but I don't do that. You know, I mean, how do you feel about that? You know, knowing that uh, I'm a brand ambassador. <laughs> No, I think it's really important that brands stay, you know, authentic and see who they're working with. And, you know, it's important that you understand that everyone that you have around you, you've got a good relationship. And I think there's nothing worse than having a term influencer that's more of like someone who's just posted once and then that's it. A lot of the people that we've worked, take Famous Ali, I think we started working with him last year. You know, so it's all about consistency and building that up and being, you know, selective with a few people yes. who really can trust and we like how they are, like yourself, for example. So, and, um, you know, that Thank works you. way better for us because that's what the brand's about, not just kind of a quick win with some codes. It's something about, it's like a long relationship. Exactly. Well, I mean, cards on the table time. I know I'm up for review, you know, within the next month, six weeks or so. Um, whatever happens, whether I get, you know, my contract, if you're like renewed with you, I thoroughly enjoyed my time, like, you know, working with Swan and Edgar and yourself. It's been absolutely delightful. It really has. So whatever happens, my opinion of yourself, the brand won't change. You know, I mean, before I had any of this, it was like, I really like your brand. I really like this. And I really like that. So, I mean, that ain't going to change. So, I mean, you know, that's the way I am with it. Hello. Uh, Join my record. Sorry, I can't see with these watches on. With these watches on. With these glasses, I only wear them to keep my ears warm. <laughs> Have we got any more questions for Melanie while she's on at the moment? If not, I can keep rubbing in. Ted, how did you um, get into YouTube? I'd love to know that. How how did you get into it? Ted's brought the back the brand a lot of people's attention. Oh, thank you, there, Relax Watches. I appreciate that. That's very nice. Discount code TED30. 30% 30 of all your orders. <laughs> well, I started my YouTube uh, many years ago as the Cornish Vapor. It was a vaping channel. I remember you telling me. That's, that's, how, that's how I started. And that was far too cutthroat. And, you know, you get stabbed in the back you know, as soon as we looked at. And if you didn't have the latest, greatest, most expensive thing, you was useless. No matter if it was like two weeks behind what just came out, it wasn't relevant. So I thought, no, no. And I had loads of watches. And I thought, well, why not do something I really enjoy? I'll just do that. So that's how the watch thing started. And, uh, you know, it's it's peaks and troughs with it. You know, some months you do really well. I mean, I average between four to 7,000 views every month. That's what I average on the whole channel. Uh, I mean, really, for a daft old Cornishman, I'm, I'm pleased with that. 
you know, that's that's fine with me. You know, so we just keep plugging away and uh, see what happens with it. I got no, you know, no ego, no delusions of grandeur that I'm going to be make hundreds of pounds doing this. I'm not in it for that. You know, if I can get a watch in to review it, brilliant. If I can get a watch in and keep it, fantastic. If I got a watch in and got to send it back, I don't mind. You know, I look at it as like, it's content. I'm not getting paid for it, but someone else might think, I like that. Or like, oh, that's rubbish. I don't like that. But it gives them a choice, you know, without someone who's being paid for it. Uh, relax watches. What celebrity would you like to promote your brand? Oh, this is a hard one. It's a good one. I think that with Swan and Edgar, um, I kind of envy, if it could be anyone, 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 anyone. Um, anyone. Oh, I think we'd probably go for someone that's more like quintessentially uh, like a, got a really good vibe. I think maybe someone like James Bond, you know, like Dan. Um, no, which I which think one? Cool. Come on. Which one? Which one? <laughs> the daniel craig right is is the current one yes so obviously him. Yes. I, he's my favorite because he's so hardcore he doesn't pretend to be you know soft around the edges he's just to the point and aston martins oh i love them so oh, i think yeah. that quintessential aston british um quintessential british uh, british vibe would be perfect like i love it What's the time frame on the blank backs? I'm ordering the complexity, as mentioned before, for my wedding. Uh, not to mention, I've chose a complexity over my come back panorize, I think it is. Sorry if I was pronouncing it wrong. It's a tiny little thing here. So, any ideas when that's going to happen? Um, no, as soon as possible. I mean, I can get it. We were talking about it last week, actually, and trying to sort in this out. But um, what I'll do is if you can drop me a private message on Swan and Edgar, and then we can discuss that in more detail, and we'll try and do something for you and see what can happen. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you very much. And guys and girls there, she is very approachable. No problem at all there. You know, first class with that. Uh, another one that's come in is... What's your personal favorite watch? Now, I don't know if that's for the, the Swan and Edgar or any brand of watches. Okay, so Swan and Edgar, my favorite is the Turbillon. I love it so much. I just, they are breathtaking. Sorry, Dad. Um, but then as a, as a brand, I don't have one, but as a brand that I'm obsessed with that I just think is really elegant is Patek Philippe. I just love that stuff. It's just so yeah. incredible. So, so incredible. <laughs> very, very <laughs> nice very indeed. Very. Mm -mm. No, that's that's good stuff. I mean, you can't really argue with that. I'm, I got asked it last week, and mine with the uh, Jaeger Lacoutre Reverso. Um, you know, if money was no object, and it was like, here, Ted, just go and buy whatever you like in the watch. That would be the one that I would go. Come to Teddy. <laughs> that would be the one. Like you know, it's you know, and you could say like you know, well, it's it's a very feminine watch, but what's wrong with that? You know, it's. I think I can get away with wearing it. I mean, I, I wouldn't really wear a pink watch, but I think I could probably get away with it. You know, it's just personal preference, you know. But that, to me, even though it's, like, small and dainty, yeah, Average Joe's just said she knows her watches. There you are. Thanks, guys. What could be a nicer compliment than that? <laughs> <laughs> I can see someone likes APs as well. That's good. Oh. Yeah, that's Ian. Yeah, AP. For, well, I mean, brilliant. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. I like these at the offshore. I'm trying to think now because my mind goes all over the place. I think that's the offshore, isn't it? The Royal Oak offshore. No, that's not Alderman Peak eh, at all. No, no, that's a different one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a different one. I just completely went blank again. Yeah, they all sort of merge into one foggy, you know, foggy puddle. Foggy puddle? I don't know. <laughs> so, what's new with the Swan and Edgar lineup? I mean, what can we expect to see before Christmas or after Christmas? So what you can expect, I mean, we've constantly got new collections, but if you haven't took, um, taken a look yet at our women's watches, please do. What I'll do is I'll feature on my top five favorite tomorrow on our Instagram, because they're awesome. Like, they're just lovely. Um, Christmas time, we always have loads of new designs, because we're aware that everyone, you know, kind of Christmas season, you've got to have the new current one. Um, so Christmas for us is really, really important. Um, and um, sorry, I'm just looking at the questions and i can see someone asked about um ask if we like younger people are not interested in our watches just yeah. to um just to add to that one we've actually um i've had a lot of engagement from the 
uh, cast of Made in Chelsea that are kind of, you know, younger vibes, oh, right. if that makes sense, in terms of people that, yeah. you know, liked it from a specific uh, TV company. And uh, they love them. So, um, yeah, I think we've had a really good response. It used to be um, quite broad. But, yeah, definitely, um, I think definitely the younger generation are really starting to, you know, love that kind of luxury element that's affordable now. Well, that's nice as well, because watches sort of went out of vogue for a while, didn't they, with the, the invention of the smartphone that did everything. It's like, oh, I don't need a watch anymore. But it's nice to see that they're actually turning around now and it's coming back into it. You know, that's always nice to see as well. Are all Swan and Edgar watches automatic? That's from Redmond. Um, yeah, but just do have a look on our website, because there are sometimes the odd option, but yeah, majority yeah that's what you know that's one thing i like as well with the price point you get an automatic movement now that's very nice you know because i mean basically it's like automatic at quartz prices i think i'm right in saying that aren't i you can use that tagline if you like feel free use it <laughs> making some notes here <laughs> no 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 problem at all you know it's, it's like my image here feel free to use it but if it's ever on stamps there's a charge okay i'll bear that one in mind <laughs> 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 so Swan and Inker is a brand they're they're moving forwards they're not actually you know a young person's company they're open to anybody they sort of have a, have a wide range of appeal what about the the foreign markets are they popular over there or is it just UK I'd say a lot of the because I focus on the marketing side we always focus more on the kind of like the UK there are some uh, exceptions so for example if someone has amazing like photography content then I will send them further afield um, but at the moment we're kind of mainly you know just focus on the crack in the UK market we do obviously ship to lots of it everywhere pretty much but yeah in terms of my my job in the marketing side I'm very much UK market. I do. So, I mean, I would guess really that if you get a 2% market share, you're flying mm -hmm. with all the other brands that are out there. Definitely. You know, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I tried to explain that to people before, like, you know, if you've got just 2%, I mean, that's thousands, probably millions of units like, spread across. Yeah. Even that, you know, it, you know and that's, it's, that seems like something like, I should, I should imagine you're like doing a lot more than that anyway, because the product speaks for itself. No disrespect for yourself. I mean, it's nice to the chat you can't really say hello to your watch but you know that's always nice as well so you're still at work now yeah so uh, obviously i'm doing this special call for you ted so never say no to that um but yeah okay. it's always good to you know constantly be checking things and on top of it because i mean you never know when someone has a question or you know it's always good to be on the ball with these things so i don't mind <laughs> it is what 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 accessory or what accessories do you sell if any that's from relaxed watches Leo. So our biggest one is um kind of count these accessories we do have cufflinks which are really nice um so depending on you can get free cufflinks if you order a watch depending on what kind of offer we've got going on um that they have been really quite popular <laughs> and you've got you've got pens as well and uh, there's another thing as well with a cuff uh, cufflinks yeah and um, what else was there? There's pens. Uh, was it? And I mainly focus on cufflinks because that's the offer I normally see around. But yes, there's probably a lot more, you guys. But obviously, I don't push them much on social. Um, but uh, but yes, have a look at our website. And so much. And cr and credit card holders as yeah. well. Credit. They were kind of one of the first ones they were that we started to do. Um, but cufflinks is kind of the one that you'll probably see the most offers around just because it's nice and they go with a watch. Um, but yeah, they've got some yes. gift ideas, especially around like Father's Days or things like that. There's always the added little, you know, nice little thing you can add in. It is. I mean, I've, I've had your credit card holder before and I had one of your pens and yes. they're nice. They're very nice. They are nice. Right. Um, someone here is this, uh, Redman. I have a Hamilton Jazzmaster open heart watch and I love that style. Any rec recommendations on the Swan and Edgar style as I want them all? Or he already wants them all. Oh my gosh. Ted, what would you say? Honestly, for me, because I've got my favorites and there's so many on the website, like I find it so hard to be specific. So, what I would say is just 
try different things, you know, take into consideration the measurements of your wrist and make sure you're happy if you're looking at this, um, the stats, but we've got some amazing content on there in terms of videos, how it looks on Instagram. There's, you know, ones of them actually on wrists. So just do your research and pick one that, you know, you love. And then it depends what kind of, if you want it for every day, uh, how you're going to wear it and go from there. But just, yeah, start your Swan and Edgar journey and you'll never look back. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I know um, the last time I went on the website was to, you know, to, to pick out my, my new one. And I was looking through it and I thought, I like that. I like that. I like that. No, I like that. And I was like that. In the end, I got my oldest son in and I said, boy, pick a watch for me. Will you? Just pick a watch out of this list. Here's a list of like, I think it was 20 watches. I said, pick one. You pick one. And he went, how many can I have? I said, one. Just pick one. That's it. I mean, if it's, if I could do the whole 20, it'd be like, not a problem, but just pick one. All right. So he went away, had a little mess around. He came back. He said, what's this one like? I said, that's the one. Lovely job. Thank you, mate. Really? I said, yeah, yeah, that's the one I had there. That was in the top four of the ones I picked out of the 20. So yeah, that's it. We'll have it. Go for it. You wow, know, and that's the, uh, that's the, well, he's, he's, uh, he's going to be 21 next week. I mean, so I thought then, a lad that age who's really not interested in watches. He was like, I've only ever had one watch before that he was absolutely desperate to have. And I thought, this is really nice. And, I thought, and yet he likes this. This is really something that, he, that could start him off into something that will cost him a fortune, but he'll have shiny things. Yeah, that'd be great. Be careful, Ted, because you might have some of your collection go missing soon if he gets into them. Yes. <laughs> uh, that happens already with my youngest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, he, he started. He started uh, college, and I'm going to watch that. I said, "Help yourself, mate." Anyone? I said, "Help yourself, mate." Just take whatever you like, you know. And um, can I have the Rado, Dad? I said, "Don't be so damn silly." No, of course you can't have that one. You know, I thought you you're like your old man, bloody cheeky for as far as that's concerned, you know. But for like you know, a, a coming up for a 21 year old lad to pick a watch, like you know like that a proper watch you know not one of these like toy things or gimmicky things a proper watch i think speaks volumes for the company but you know someone of that age is like i really like that dad i really like it so you know look out for some wrist shots when he's wearing it as well uh you'll know when it is because he's got no tattoos it's just me that's got that so you can always tell where one of my sons you know either either or of them We'll, we'll be modeling my watches because there's no tattoos, you know. And the amount of DMs I get, you had your tattoos removed, Ted? No, no. We know, how. We, know, like, how, you know we know how it works. Have yeah, so I, I haven't had, like, you know, 18 or 20-year-old skin for 20 years, so it's not me. Sorry about the noise there in the background. My oldest boy's just come back from work and he's making himself some food. So... You know, that's what that is. That's fine. So, any other questions? I mean, your office looks really nice, or the, the room you're in. Oh, is that a, a Swan and Edgar, Swan and Edgar boardroom? Uh, no, I'm just visiting a friend at the moment. So, uh, just, oh. just there. So, it's kind of like an office -y lounge room. It's not so bad. But, uh, oh. but yeah, it's, it's good. I'm, I'm in central London all the time, pretty much. So, it's lovely here. I mean, it's very busy. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's good to be with the hustle and bustle. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I have been to London for years and years, like, you know, and uh, I know last time up there, it was like, slow down, me handsome, slow down, you're going to run around like that, you know, calm down a little bit. It's, it's mad, it's mad here, mad, it's crazy. Yeah, mm -mm. you know, well, I'm, you know I'm, I'm a village boy, like, you know, so uh, not a village person, I'm a village boy, you know, and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the, the different of life is just, fun, you know, phenomenal, it really is, mm -hmm. and it's like we just sort of like ambled around and like, ah, we've got a saying, we'll do it directly. That means we'll do it at My some point, but there's that. no... He says that. But yeah, well, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do it directly, boy. That's the way. Or hold your horses there, part. He's we'll always, do it directly. He's moaning about not having proper Cornish pasties and my nan's obsessed with rodders, so I really know you guys. <laughs> like, good food down there. <laughs> uh, one of the world timers to Adam... Hang on. One of the world timers to Adam Swords, he always gets massive views and lots of exposure. Ooh, there you go. See, I read them out. I couldn't decide between the day, date, month, and complexity, so I bought them both. That's from Barry, Barry Starr. 
Nice one, Barry. Time in the UK. My mate Paul's just popped in. Do you, Repman again, do you like share posts when your watches are tagged by people who've bought them? Yes. Yeah, but definitely probably more so on our stories. Um, but yeah, we always try to, we always share people that have, you know, um, you know, got our watches on, tagged us. So please do that. <laughs> Yeah, I can say immediately, yes, everything I've tagged with Swan and Edgar is straight on, either on the feed or on the profile. Uh, Relax watches. What's the future of selling watches online, in store or via shopping channels? Okay, so I think this is an interesting question because online is really important because like you say, it's accessible, for people, but it's all about the experience. So long as you can have a good vision of the watch, you know, in terms of a video or, you know, something that's more in depth. So I think that experience online is really important. Um, but then still, you know, having a boutique feel where you can go and try the watch. So many people still love that. So, you know, we're always going to work hard to deliver, the, um, to deliver both. Um, but at the moment... Oh online is something that we're prioritizing okay time in the uk hi guys sorry a bit late that's all right paul no problem at all you will deduct it from your wages mate okay. Ted, i'm so sorry but so, i might have to leave shortly if you don't mind just because i've got to... i was just looking at the watch there and i thought well we're coming up to nearly an hour and i didn't want to keep you for the full hour because i know you're a busy lady and i do appreciate you coming and doing this for me it's really kind of you so if you like we can wrap this up now and you can say your last little bit and i'll do my last little bit that'd and tom are still on that are we doing hi guys um no that'd be wonderful ted and i just want to say that you've been an absolute pleasure to work with and will be in the future and um yeah appreciate it just please um guys there's so much to actually share with you about swan and edgar in terms of the new collections and watches we've got so just you know keep if, if you're instead of scrolling social have a look at swan and edgar but then go to the store and have a look and put some watches on your shortlist because we've always got new stuff coming out and um, if you've got a special lady or a friend or a mum then check out the ladies watches as well because they're awesome Lovely job. Well, personal thing for myself to Melanie there, I do appreciate the opportunity you've given me. I know I said it before, but I really do. You know, I sort of like wear my heart on my sleeve when I get the opportunities or anything like that. And I'm, I really am genuinely grateful. Uh, whatever happens, you know, I will be Swan and Edgar. You know, I really like the brand. You're a fantastic ambassador for it. You're such a nice lady. And it's really my pleasure to have you on. And perhaps we'll have to do it again sometime maybe after Christmas or whenever you can fit it in. Absolutely. Okay, thanks for watching, watching everyone. I do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you again to Melanie. It's been absolutely Thank lovely you. having you on. Um, take care, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.